Hey folks, it's Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today you're looking at our very first 2020 Chevrolet Colorado Z71. If you're an American, you know it's you know it as Z71. And this happens to be the Trail Runner Edition. So, if you're not familiar with the Colorado, it's available in four trims, a WT, an LT, a Z71, and the ZR2, uh, which is the big off-road, ready, everything, Multimatic uh, shocks, craziness. Uh, now, you can get the Colorado in an extended cab, uh, a short crew, or a long crew cab. So the extended cab is a six foot, two inch box. The short crew cab is a five foot, one box, like this one right here. Or you can go into a long crew cab box, which is a six foot, two box as well. Let's uh, just pop inside real quick here and let's uh, open up the hood. Pretty straightforward. Just little, turn this little thing to the side, right there. So the Colorado you can get in three engines, a 2.5 liter dual overhead cam, variable valve timing, direct injected four cylinder that puts out 200 horsepower and has 191 foot pounds of torque. Uh, we're in Alberta, the majority that we sell, the majority that GM sells across the nation in Canada and the US is the 3.6 liter V6. Do overhead cam, very valve timing, direct injected with 308 horsepower, 270 foot pounds, 275 foot pounds of torque, and um, is got an eight speed automatic. Uh, the four cylinder, if you went with a two wheel drive, you can actually get a manual transmission, six speed, but most people spring for the six speed automatic. Now you can also get into the baby Duramax, which is a 2.8 liter dual overhead cam, direct injected, 186 horsepower, and a phenomenal, 369 foot-pounds of torque, again with a six-speed automatic transmission. Um, when it comes to towing, that four-cylinder will tow 3,500 pounds. A V6 like this one here will tow 7,000 pounds, and the baby Duramax will tow 7,600 pounds. So this one's a special edition color called Crush, and if you go with the Trail Runner edition, I'm gonna just kind of bend down, so I apologize for shaking the camera and all that stuff, but first off, the Trail Runner adds this off-road rocker protection, okay, the whole way across. It's a, called it like a rock slider, okay. Down and under, okay, get down here, sorry. So you get what's called a mid skid plate and also a front skid plate, okay. And moving up, you get some accent lighting. So it's a different fog light be bezel in this model. Um, and you also get these, and everybody loves them, who doesn't? These are your Duratrac 265-65R17 all-terrain tires. Okay, so very capable tires. Some of, one of the very best rated tires available. But uh, some of the other things when it comes to off-roading that I like that GM's done is just to protect your paint and your body a little bit here. So I try to focus the camera. But you can see this rubberized texture. It goes all the way along the body. And again, this is a leading edge. So GM knows it's a leading edge. So they put this little grommet here to help with uh, saving, you know, rock chips and stuff on your vehicle. You can notice here, this is even 3 m here on both sides. So again, to help save your body as time goes by, okay, from rock chips. For comfort and convenience, you can see in under here, you've got the felt line Kevlar backed wheel liners. So again, you don't get that pinging and panging on the gravel roads. You can see we've added the chrome exhaust tip, which looks really sharp. Moving around to the back, you can see we've got the black bow ties on this model. You can see we've got the park assist sensors here, which are the beep, 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 beep. Of course, you can see we've got the backup camera here as well. You can see your hitch. We've got your four pin and your seven pin wiring. And your tailgate, you can lock with the remote fob or you can manually lock it here. You can see easy drop tailgate as well. And you can see we've got some fixed uh, tie down hooks as well. And here you've got multiple uh, caps that you can remove and put in your uh, removable um, 
accessories so we've got like bars that can go across there so if you have uh, you know you want sectional storage back here if you want to do kayaks skis that sort of stuff there's all kinds of accessories you can add you just pop those little out those out and put little clips in okay and you can also use them as just extra tie down hooks you can also see we've got the factory spray and liner because it is a got the chevrolet logo up there as well moving on along you can also see here we've got the much loved easy corner step so again you just put your foot there you can see right here you put your hand and now you're in the back of the truck very easily i'm going to get down low here as well one of the things that people love about our trucks also the canyon colorados are no different than the full-size trucks is that this has a g80 auto locking rear differential and that's important it's automatic so say this left wheel starts to spin it locks your rear diff so they both spin together so you have a better opportunity to get out of what you're in say mud snow whatever you're in again if you look at a ford look at some of our competitors you have a button on your dash you have to push to engage that limited slip differential and ours is automatic so it's an auto locking rear differential it's called a g80 made by eaton's you can see we got the capless fuel door if this was the Duramax 2.8 liter, this would have a blue DEF tank um, cap right here. Now moving inside, it's interesting in North America, they say at any given time, there's only ever 1.2 people in a vehicle at any given time when you average out all the vehicles on the road. So obviously, you know, you, you may have a family of four or five, and this is when it gets into, say you and your buddies are going hunting or that sort of thing. I'm six foot 260. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get in and out and that there is room for four big adults in this vehicle. But first off, the interior. If you notice, this is again the Z71. Um, you've got the leather seating with this cloth insert. This is really nice texture. I like this honeycomb look. Okay, you want to fold down this seat. Pretty straightforward. You got some flat storage here or there's this handle and if you pardon I'm gonna to have to move the camera and you just pull up and you can see your under seat storage is here and also you can have storage here as well it's just not as flat as if you had the seat down okay just pull on the handle again down you go here we are getting in you can see my feet down here going under the seat very comfortably I've got about three four inches of knee room so my knees are not in the back of the seat and my head's not touching. So definitely lots of room for four adults. You got a couple USBs back here. You got an old style auxiliary power adapter as well. A little cubby hole down there for storage. And here's just a quick overview inside the front. Moving on over to the driver's side here. Again, because it's the uh, dark ash interior. Uh, most of these seats in these trucks are gonna be what's called jet black. I really like this dark ash interior. It's a really nice accent. So again, you get some of this dark gray accents on the door as opposed to this all being black. You can see you also have this carbon fiber look, which looks nice. You've got your power door locks, mirrors, all that stuff right here, easy to access. You've got your six-way power adjustable seat with power lumbar support as well and the sun's coming out so it's kind of wreaking a little bit of havoc here i'll apologize try to get uh, focused so you got your automatic headlights and your fog lights okay down here you got your two wheel you got your auto track four wheel drive so too high right now it's in rear wheel drive but again that g80 auto locking is automatic then you can go into auto four by four now it's important to point out when you go into auto four by four you're actually engaging your front differential so everything is ready to go when it spins or slips okay so if you want the best possible fuel economy we recommend that unless you're on say um, gravel roads or it's light snow or icy conditions out that's when you should be in auto auto four-wheel drive if you're just driving on plain asphalt you should be in too high now if you're driving on muddy roads or say back roads or um, say it's really snowing out that's when you want to be into the four high and you'll see on your dash here when you do your shift it says shift in pro process progress there you go 
and it even shows right on your dash there. You can see four. I'll just move her back to the two wheel drive. And there you go. Okay. Now just moving in. Now again, plenty of room. I had that set for me in the back, six foot 260, and I got plenty of room here in the front, very comfortable. Uh, you got some nice trim on the steering wheel, heated steering wheel in the Z71 as well. S cruise control is right here. This jog dial controls your DIC up here. So again, just pretty straightforward, up, down, left, right. So again, you can go in through this and you've got fuel, oil life, your TPMS, your tire pressures. Important thing to point out, this has tire fill alerts. So when you fill up your tires, it'll beep beep at you, letting you know when it's at the right pressure. Okay, fuel economy, average speed. You can see this thing is brand new. I mean, it's got 4.8 hours on the engine. So, and your trailer brake, which I mentioned, sorry, right here is very easy to access right up here. Okay. Moving on over to your DI, your driver information, or your, uh, I should say, your infotainment system. Oh, and of course, your Bose premium audio system in the Z71 as well. But again, um, you know, everybody's got these screens and all that sort of stuff in their vehicles nowadays. But what's important is that we are the first, the first, GM is the first to have 4G LTE Wi-Fi in all the vehicles. You can control your vehicle, say, check your tire pressure, um, check your fuel levels, check your oil life, and check, um, um, you know, some other basic information like unlocking your doors, maybe starting your vehicle with your phone, um, and we're first to market to that. So 4G, LTE, and Wi-Fi in the vehicle, and we're also the first to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto universally across our whole product lineup. You can still get 2020 vehicles today that only support one or the other or none at all, which is unbelievable to me. So you can see here, you got a split screen display, pretty straightforward, touch audio, very easy. Hit the home button, slide across, camera, shows us our backup camera, straight line for your hitch, hit home. You can see how quick and intuitive this is. But if you're used to your Apple phone or your Android phone, you plug in your phone and Apple CarPlay will launch, okay? And then you will have that familiarity of this screen looking like your iPhone. So it'll have your Google, it'll have your waypoints in your maps, it'll have your, um, um, let's say, your audiobooks, your Spotify, uh, your Sirius XM radio app will all be here. And again, you can download additional apps. You can even download navigation apps like Waze, which is very popular. Um, what was new for 2020 is you can control your climate control with this now inside the vehicle with your touchscreen. So pretty straightforward stuff. You can see also we got our outside temperature sensor and our time right there. Uh, we have automatic climate control. Uh, we know that we have a 2021 redesign coming and it will, uh, the 2021 inside, again, obviously redesigned inside, all that sort of stuff, but they're adding dual zone climate control for the first time. So right now this has the automatic climate control, which is nice. We can see we've got the heated leather seats with back and bum or just your back. And again, you've got three levels of heat there as well. Uh, you can see we've got our trailer control. So just push that button. You'll see the trailer light come on up on your dash, letting you know that you're ready to tow. Again, the four-cylinder tows 3,500 pounds, the V6, the most popular, tows 7,000 pounds, and the Baby Duramax tows 7,600 pounds, okay? You can see we've got our traction control, stability control. So again, what we tell people, you push that button once, okay? And actually, I'll turn off the trailer. But you push that button once, and you'll see the TC light come on. And then if you were to hold it, what would happen is that it would turn off not only your traction control, but also your stability uh, control. There you go. So what this now is basically a 90s, late 90s, early 2000s pickup truck. And when you hammer the gas, you'll roast the tires, do everything. And we just like to mention that because if you're in a bad money road, uh, pushing through, say, an oil, get, trying to get to an oil well maintenance site, that sort of thing, get to the cabin in some really bad conditions, um, Stabilitrack is in all modern vehicles. And what happens is when your vehicle slips or slides left or right, it cuts engine power. So obviously, if you're trying to push through the snow or the mud, you don't want that to happen. So again, all you would do is push and hold 
this button for about five seconds and it would disable both. And now you can roast and burn the tires off the vehicle or push through the mud. <laughs> and then when you cycle the keys, it'll be back to normal. Uh, your hazard buttons are here. You got your box light here. You got your hill descent control and you've got that park assist, the beep, beep, beep sensors in the back. You can enable or disable them if you don't want to use them. Uh, down low, you can see a couple more USB ports, another old style power auxiliary there. You've got the plus minus on your uh, eight speed in this V6. So again, you can drive it like a manual transmission. Okay. And again, you got that nice uh, carbon fiber accenting like that's on the doors, which is really sharp. Um, you've also got wireless charging down here, but again, it's for a smaller phone, not for say the bigger phones. Storage in here as well. Obviously we have our OnStar as well with the vehicle. And OnStar obviously is a suite of technologies. So again, you could use that remote, uh, the functionality of your phone, like a remote to control functions of your vehicle, locking your doors, starting it, um, checking your tire pressure, all that stuff. Also, you've got the SOS feature, which is um, heaven forbid you're in some sort of bad situation, you hit that button, you're on the line with a trained EMT that can help you through a bad situation, um, like you know, a, you know, dealing with a wound or helping deliver a baby, which is crazy to think about. So those are some of the things to talk about with the, uh, obviously, Colorados. And I'm just going to step out here and give you another quick glance at this beautiful crush metallic special edition color. There you go, folks. This is the Z71 Trail Runner Edition.